are you moving too much in pickleball? Like you're not shifting your core because this is a concept that will make you a better pickleball player. It really will. I'm Joey and don't forget to have a good day. This is a confession. For years, I taught my students to move too much, right? If that come in from tennis, I'm like, yeah, take that big tennis swing. But pickleball is different. We have to keep everything out in front of us, right? And have that elbow close to our side. Why do they say have that elbow close to our side? So we don't bring the paddle back, right? That's why we do it. I think a lot of times when I'm coaching, I don't explain why I'm saying elbow close to my side. But this brings about my first big innovative concept. The twist failed miserably. You could take a look, but no one really understood it, nor did I. <laughs> However, what about if you think of shifting your core, right? Shifting your core so we don't have to move our arm too much, right? More like dancing. You know, you're going out, you're having fun and you're really not holding the paddle too tight and you're really kind of grooving because that's really what we want, right? We don't want this tennis swing, right? We want more grooving out in front. So shifting the core keeps the elbow closer to the side, which everyone says, keep your elbow closer to your side. Now we know why, right? And think about shifting your core next time in rec play. I think it would really work. I really do. If not, you can always call me. Pickleball lovers, take a look at this video. It is so good. It is the twist. Actually, no, it wasn't very good. It got widely panned. And honestly, people came up to me at the PPA tournament and they're like, I do not understand that video. I'm like, I know, like 17,000 people told me this. And pickleball lovers, don't forget to have a good day.